a Little Rock native who grew up on Razorback Red. Houston Nutt became a hog in 1976, inking with Arkansas to play both football and basketball. He spent just one season on the Hill, but Nutt, the last recruit ever signed by Coach Broyles and the last coach. My mom served me roast beef, mashed potatoes, green beans, homemade rolls, apple pie. And my mom said, hey, Coach Broyles, would you like another piece of apple pie? And he said, oh, yes, ma'am. I would love another piece of apple pie and write down the, uh, the recipe. I want to take it back home to Barbara. So he knew how to win those moms over and he never turned down second. So I learned that real early. One of the many who helped Houston recognize his desire to steer the sidelines. After not getting drafted, coaching called. And I, so I had all their dreams in the palm of my hand. You know, I had this connection with these 17 and 18 year olds. And I knew that night I'm, I'm, I was supposed to be a coach. And coach, he did, getting the ring to return to Arkansas in 1997. I remember it like last night. Um, Coach uh, Rolls called at 930 Mountain Time and he says, Houston, want you to come back home. You're the next coach, University of Arkansas. I mean, this gives me chills. And the U of A thrived under Nutt's leadership, playing in three New Year's Bowls in five seasons, claiming the 98 Cotton Bowl over Texas and taking part in some of the longest games in NCAA history. Arkansas comes away with the win in seven overtime. One of his most memorable contests, his last, a 50 to 48 victory over number one LSU. They played great. We beat the number one team in the nation and we brought that wood. That's kind of our theme, bring the wood. But I know this, got a lot of guys with some big hearts. It always stands out because it's the last one. Three days later, coach resigned, walking away from the hill with a 75 and 48 record. In my mind, I was going to be there for life. Instead, Nutt became a rebel, saying farewell to Fayetteville, but always coaching with family at the forefront. I feel like players, they don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. Coach, now a college football analyst, never too far from a TV to root for the Razorbacks. When you grow up calling the hogs, you know, it just becomes a part of you.